Well, it's a drive-in theater, but it's not a movie. It's musical theater. Joining me to explain and invite you is Cynthia Collins, co-founder and associate artistic director of the Actors Theater of Indiana. Good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. It's good to see you and great to talk with you again. Okay, I know you creative types, you performing types, you would perform if you <laughs> didn't have a venue, didn't have a stage, didn't have an audience. It's in your blood, it's in your heart, your soul, your passion, but you guys yes. have used your creativity to find a way to, to help everybody. Yes, we are really trying to forge ahead in this difficult time of COVID-19, and so we came up with drive-in concerts, and uh, we're doing three of them. We did one in September, we have one tonight, and let's hope the weather cooperates with us. Mm -hmm. And then we have our last one this year, which is going to be November 27th. That's going to be a holiday, kind of like a, a holiday show. It'll be so much fun. Well, the, the and, one for tonight, talk to me about that, because I just love the name of it. Yeah, it's, well, we're calling it the drive-in theater, but it's like the old drive-in movies. You drive your car in, we're on a stage at the Monon uh, Square Shopping Center, right in Carmel. And uh, and you just drive your car in. You can bring anything you want, something to drink, to eat. People sit outside if the weather permits. They bring their lawn chairs. Uh, some people do stay in their cars because also we um, put it over the radio. We have a radio frequency. So they can stay in the comfort of their cars and still hear the music. And, um, and so, like I said, we connect to a radio frequency. And it's just like, it's fun. You know, people want to get out. They want to do something. And so do we. We're just you know, chomping at the bit to perform, like you said. And this is a way that we have figured out how to do that safely. Mm -hmm. We're all safely, you know, six, six feet distance apart on the stage. Our musicians are too. And everybody's car is at least six feet sure. away from each other. Plus we're wrapped yeah. in steel. That's as good as a mask, right? <laughs> So uh, how does this, how is this, this is probably helping you and the theatrical community in, in more ways than we lay people can imagine. Well, like you said, it's good for the soul. It's good for what we do as performers. Um, you know, when you see a live performance, there's nothing like it. Mm -hmm. There's just nothing like live professional performances. And that is very few and far between right now with uh, the pandemic going on. So um, so I think it not only lifts our spirits, it lifts our patrons' spirits. It lifts anybody's spirits who's going to see anything live. And um, there's an excitement, there's an energy to that. They just can't get any other way, you know? Uh, the word COVID uh, should be retired permanently when we can, when we don't have oh. to talk about it anymore. Another word that I have abused this year has been pivot, but it's been the best, best describer of what everyone has had to do from restaurants like we just spoke to to performers like yourself how has uh, ATI been pivoting well we you have and it we have to pivot or else we'll go under I mean everybody has to pivot as you said or else that's it we're done so the way we've pivot pivoted even though we did have to cancel our season and we just flat out canceled it clean slate and we will we will start um, a season 2021-22 OK, mm -hmm. so like I said, clean slate. But this is the way we're pivoting, trying to find new ways to perform, whether it is our drive in concerts, whether it is streaming. We're going to be streaming a show in January um, for for patrons to see, um, you know, just staying out there, staying active, keeping our name out there so people still, you know, don't forget us. We're here. Right. The performing arts is here and we're all trying to do what we can do to stay out there and stay alive. And like I said, these concerts are part of that. And we're going to stream some of our past shows as well, but that will be next, that will be next year. That will start in January. Sure. How, how, how can we help? You can go to our website. Everything is on our website, ATIStage.org. If you go right to our website or you can go to our Facebook page, Actors Theater of Indiana on Facebook, you can check out everything we're doing. You can learn how to donate. You can learn how to get tickets for our drive-ins. Um, like I said, our streaming information will be up there soon, and we are going to stream a show in January. Um, and that is how you can help. People have been great. They have been donating. They understand the difficulties, you know, that the performing arts is having. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just, just remember, we're here. We're here for you. We are here to perform for you still and give you that joy 
uh, of live performances. Well, thank so you just for go to our website. Thank you for your effort and your and your passion and your determination, and your creativity. We will put that link. We'll do our best to get the word out there. We will not forget you. ATIStage.org. Break a leg. Well, thanks so much. <laughs> right.